Κυρίε και κύριοι, για δεύτερη εβδομάδα στου κινηματογράφου προβάλλεται η μαύρη τρύπα, έχοντα ήδη κερδίσει το ελληνικό κοινό. Οι πρωταγωνιστέ Ζιλιέτ Μπινό και Ρόμπερτ Πάτινσον παραχώρησαν αποκλειστική συνέντευξη στον Αλέξανδρο Λιζάρδο. Ο δεύτερο, μάλιστα, αποκάλυψε ότι η ταινία τον έκανε να αποκτήσει πατρικά αισθήματα, αφού στο μεγαλύτερο μέρο τη συμπροταγωνιστεί με ένα μωράκι στην αγκαλιά του. Μακριά από το ηλιακό μα σύστημα, μια ομάδα στροναυτών κινείται με το διαστημό πλοιό τη προ μια μαύρη τρύπα. Όλοι του έχουν σκοτεινό παρελθόν και συμμετέχουν σε ένα παράξενο πείραμα που η επιστημονική ηθική είναι σχεδόν ανύπαρκτη. Her dark sides, and and uh, and yeah, I didn't find it difficult actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Probably because uh, as actors, we used and and in your life, if you don't go to dark sides, you're not a whole person. You have to. A little bit to your right, please. Η πρώτη αγγλόφωνη ταινία της Claire Denis ταξιδεύει στο φεστιβάλ του Τορόντο και του Σαν Σεμπαστιάν, κερδίζοντας κοινό και κριτικούς. Εκτός από τη βραβευμένη με Όσκαρ Ζιλιέτ Μπινός, συμπροταγωνιστεί και Ρόμπερτ Πάτινσον, σε ένα ρόλο που η πατρότητα είναι ίσως το κλειδί για την επιβίωσή του. Um, I, I mean, it's always interesting because initially I think that I think that relationship was supposed to be a lot more strained. I mean, in my head, anyway, when I when I was thinking about the part, I always thought of Monta as being a much like that relationship was something in the same way that he fully commits to his chastity. I always thought that there was when he has his daughter, he would be quite overbearing on the daughter, I and mean, then as she got older. It was very. I always thought it was going to be very, very difficult for him to see her develop into a, a, a woman and an individual. And I thought it was. I, I when I first when the, every single time I'd read the script, I was thinking, this is a taboo relationship in itself. Maybe the most out of all of them. And uh, so you see. Yeah, <laughs> this is a fictional character. <laughs> <laughs> this is not me speaking. Um, but then, as soon as you start working with a baby, like I mean, really, from the from day one, um, you don't want the baby to cry around you. One thing, in terms of purely practical things as well, like you just you feel guilty with a baby crying, and also it's impossible to shoot anything. And so, if you're spending like hours just like trying to get the baby to like you. Then you end up with these scenes where it's kind of you end up just liking the baby, and then it completely changed my whole. That's what I started shooting first, and the first two weeks were just with Scarlett, the baby, and she was growing up, and you could see her kind of changing every single day. She took her first steps on the movie and stuff, and it's just like you can't help but think like, oh, I mean, it's it's not even a scene at that point. I mean, you kind of take you have to take that into account for the rest of the character. It's always nice when that happens. She's mad. Η ταινία συνεχίζει για δεύτερη εβδομάδα σε μόλις ένα κινηματογράφο στην Αθήνα. Και εδώ το δελτίο μας ολοκληρώθηκε. Σας ευχαριστούμε που μας παρακολουθήσατε. Ακολουθούν οι αθλητικές ειδήσεις της ΕΡΤ με την Άρια Γάτσα και στη συνέχεια στη συχνότητά μας έρχεται ο James Bond με την ταινία «Ο κόσμος δεν είναι αρκετός». Κυρίες και κύριοι, χρόνια σας πολλά. Καλό σας βράδυ.